Greetings, unsettled souls. And welcome to the Correct News. Can I be the ones you don't know? We'll see political commentary for the media future. But, um, I guess we'll be this real quick. As you can tell, it's been one of those days. Um, a personal note, my day job is not my day job. I currently don't have one. So I'm doing freelance work and everything else and uh, focusing on the next step after having been happily at the place I was at for 10 years. Um, now would be a great time to uh, donate at Patreon, uh, Patreon in the comment in the description. Or a phenomenal time to hit me up at hotmail.com. Correct you at hotmail.com. As you can see here on screen share, uh, we're postponing the Dunce Cap of the Month award until tomorrow. We're going to focus quickly on this. That's because I still have to make the hat. I just got the printer working again, and uh, Beyonce's didn't get sent from last time. So they're both going to be sent this time. I'm going to keep this quick, guys. Everybody else is talking about this. I'm not going to go into detail about the actual shooting. Suffice to say, we know now five police officers were shot dead, likely in response to the African-American gentleman who was shot. Supposedly, he was only selling CDs. Um, I don't know what was going on with him at the time, but I do know that immediately everyone jumped to racism. Maybe the cop was racist, maybe he wasn't, but I'll tell you what. This is why I'm hopping on air real quick to talk about this. Share this. I have a lot of people out there on Twitter. Share it all over. Usually I'm in the studio. I'm not in one today because I'm getting it ready for tomorrow's uh, Big Dog's Cap of the Month show. But here it is, friends. Every time something happens to you, it doesn't mean it happens to you because of the color of your skin. For instance, now that I'm on the beach... Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's what DJs say when they're unemployed. Now that I'm on the beach, um, you take any job you can get. You know, it's called survival. And I used to drive cab. I drove it for a very long time. So I picked up a cab fare today. And some people came out of the bar. Two of them were black. Two of them were white. I locked my car door because I hate white people. Do you get it? I don't lock the car door. Regardless of what color it is, here's what I think happens. I think an African-American gentleman sees the car door get locked, and they assume that it happened to them because they were black. And I've said this in other shows. No, look up 44703. It's the war zone I live in. You could be a 12-year-old girl with Girl Scout cookies. Your hair could be in pigtails, and you could look like Pippi Longstocking, and I'm still probably going to lock the damn door. That's just the way it is. People look for victimization. And I don't mean they necessarily want a pity party. It's just that you're automatically, someone's whispering at a party, they automatically, you automatically think they're whispering about you. The bigger problem here isn't whether or not the officer shot the man when he shouldn't have because he was black. The issue is he shot the man when he shouldn't have. End of story. It doesn't matter what his motive is. If my motive, my motive is on here to bring peace, that's great. If my motive on here, which it isn't, is to insult people of every race and down with every race, you know what? If I was scum like that, that's fine to do that too. That's the First Amendment. I can come out here in a KKK hoodie. I can come out here and burn up the Christian Bible. I can come out here and do whatever I want to do. I'm choosing to do this. Choosing to say this. Doesn't matter what the motive is that made him kill him. White people die from police officers every day. Many times it's not warranted either. The bigger problem here is that we don't have our rights. We don't have our freedom. Um, who was the, I think his name was Mr. Garner, the African-American gentleman who was choked to death by a police officer. He was a known asthmatic, and he looked like he was about 200 pounds overweight. Chad Chubby myself, I'm not picking on the man. I'm just saying he was obviously not a good candidate to survive a chokehold. And he died. And I thought the cop should have been punished to the full extent of the law. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you hate based on what color you are. I don't care if you're African American or Asian or whoever, and you hate me. It doesn't matter. You're allowed to hate whoever you want. You are not allowed to harm somebody, whoever you want. 
or whatever you want. And that is what the cop looks like he may or may not have done in this instance. And it also looks like someone took out five innocent cops that didn't do anything wrong. You know what? I've had cops treat me like crap. The, the evil, nasty part that lives in all of us, yeah, it lives in me too. Some of those cops I wouldn't mind watching something happen to. No, I wouldn't want them shot. But if I heard, you know, they woke up today and they were fired. Um, I wasn't fired, I'm just saying. If they were on the beach, or near the beach, if they were on the beach, I wouldn't be so upset. But you know what? I went snowboarding and got the car stuck in the road. The cop got out and did his damnedest to get this cargo van out of this hole. No ticket, did not ask to go searching through my car, didn't ask where we were snowboarding at, even though it was probably not legal where we were doing it. I mean, not every cop's horrible. Some cops are just like, you know what? I'm going to make sure that nobody's doing anything horrible. I had a cop walk into my house once and some people were smoking marijuana in it. Do I smoke weed? I've said this a million times. From time to time, I do. If I ever run for public office, I will quit. Same answer Gary Johnson gave. So the cop came into my house, saw the weed, and because my guest had left the door open, which you never do. Free advice from the correct views. My friend had left the door open, so the cop walked in. He told her she had to move the car and wished and told us to have a good party. How do you know you just didn't shoot that cop? You can't just go out shooting cops. Am I saying I'm for the institution of uh, policing? Not in the way it stands now, no. But that's different from saying I want them shot. That's, that's my thoughts. I'll be out tomorrow for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. It's already printed up. It's made up. It's ready to go. Um, the printer is working. I'll be in the studio. But remember, we have laws against murder. Doesn't matter if you murdered them because they were short, because they were pretty, because they were black, because they were white, because they reminded you of somebody that used to remind you of somebody that you didn't like, and that reminded you that you wanted to kill them. It doesn't matter. We have laws against killing someone. And if this cop overstepped that ground, those grounds, then we need to enforce the laws we have instead of making new laws. Because if they keep dividing us, they can never get us uh, to think together. If we start thinking together, we start electing people like Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, don't we? Good night, friends. God bless. Hit share.